Hi everyone and welcome to the recap of the 18 hour marathon demonstration I did the other day with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, the new S Pen that goes with that, and my 3D printer to help walk us through the events of September 1st into the morning of September 2nd is my friend Bridget Carey. She's here to, she was there with me at the very bitter end of my 18 hour ordeal and she's gonna walk us through what happened? How's it going, Bridget? Oh, hey, thanks for having me to recap this because this was one of those like things I'll never forget. Not only was it very mesmerizing to see you attempt, was it 16,000 circles drawn with a stylus on the Z Fold 3 for 18 hours straight and all the little pauses to go inspect it throughout the way. Why don't you start off? by explaining this experiment and how you built this because the, you really modified a 3D printer to be able to put the Z Fold 3, you know, through this, you know, not so scientific stress test. I've got the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 3 foldable phone. And I decided I was gonna do a little experiment to see what happened if we drew 16,000 circles on the surface of it with the S Pen. Why 16,000 circles? Well, that has more to do with the machine that I built here than anything else. This is my Creality Ender 3 V2 printer that I, 3D printer, I should say, that I have reconditioned into a, essentially a plotter so that it draws pictures instead of 3D printing. Now, I, through the help of the internet, I learned how to make the plotter, make the printer a plotter I was able to download this pen holder and print it out. I'm sorry, I forget whose design I used. I tried to look that up, but I couldn't find it again. But I made it so that it would hold the S Pen and then draw repetitively over and over again here on the surface of the Z Fold 3. We decided to end up with 16,000 circles because this, is, this drew a 50 millimeter radius circle on the screen. That became, we figured, I figured out that that turned into 314 meters per hour. So a little more extrapolation and we landed on 5,000 kilometers or five, a 5K in just shy of 16 hours. Then like Bridget said, we had check-ins along the way where I'd, every hour I would stop and take the phone off the machine, look for any differences in the texture and then put it back on and go again. So I guess I ended up yapping for like two extra hours during the course of all that, which is surprising to me, but. Well, I've never done a 5K, so this printer has surely done more than, than even I, which is sad, maybe I should actually get out and run. Um, but it's just a fascinating experiment because this Z Fold 3, this is such a, um, an interesting launch for Samsung because of how much it, the company has talked about durability. And it's the first time we are having a foldable phone that works with a stylus pen. So not only is Samsung saying, you know, go ahead and it's safe to use with a special stylus pen, we should say that they built one that has a little more give. You can't just use any stylus pen with this because this doesn't have a typical glass, you know, hard screen. So in there are there are some issues that as a consumer, you can't help but wonder, okay, well, how durable is this phone then? And considering all the news that happened when the first folds came out and we heard about, oh, you know, how well does it hold up over time? Everyone's thinking about how tough this phone is. That's why this is such a fascinating little experiment you invented. Yeah, and uh, that's why we're calling it an experiment and not a test. This isn't an accurate scientific test of any kind. Samsung never made any claims as to how many circles or how many things you could draw on the screen before you saw any damage. So unlike our other tests that we do up here at CNET, the water tests and the drop tests, this is not really a test so much as just, uh, let's see what happens just for fun. So um, I wanted to try and fire this up so you guys can actually see what it looks like in action. Um, I don't have it exactly calibrated the way I did before, but I think it's pretty close and I think it'll still work. So let me try that real quick. Okay. 
And you have a paint program uh, right now running, right? That's true, yes. It's called uh, Infinite Painter, appropriately enough, since I did seem to use it for an infinite amount of time, it felt like. Um, and it has this, a variety of cool different brushes like this one. And uh, yeah, you can see that I don't have it quite as low as it wants to go because it's not drawing the full circle. It's sort of making contact loses it right there it's like sensing that that it's really close to the screen but right. when you were doing this you know yeah like you you had it down to like millimeters right you know yeah when i was setting it up i made sure that it was uh just pressing down enough all the way around so that it wasn't gouging in the screen but it was still drawing and so now this is actually a demonstration I mean, of a little little bit too high and also the fact that my bed isn't exactly level and you never took this pen out for the entire 18 hours. It was only until the very end that we got to really inspect how the pen held up. But why don't you take us through what you were doing as the experiment went on uh, with your little check-ins and what you found? Because as a viewer in the beginning, you know there were some moments of little quirky things that happened, like the paint program just shut down and it would just kind of you know keep hitting the menu, or the battery on the phone ran out after six hours, so you had to you know plug it in. But either way, um, you know each time you were doing a check in, what were you looking for? Yeah, so um, the machine is set up for a thousand circles per hour. Uh, so at the end of every hour, we I would take the phone take the phone off the machine, give it a little visual inspection to see if I could view any kind of scratching or gouging or anything happening to the surface of the screen, which there was never anything like that. The screen itself turned out to be just as clear as the day I took it out of the box about a week ago. The pen, on the other hand. So the pen that's in there now is actually a fresh one, not the one I used for the test. Now I can show you. So this is, this is the S Pen that was in the machine. And can you, see, you can see that there, that the tip of it is a little wonky. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely a scientific uh, conclusion of wonk right yes. there. Uh, <laughs> it definitely has some drag Extreme on it. But wonkness. I was, I, I was taken aback when you said, like, this yeah, exactly. It's, it's, nib is almost ready to come off. I was in, I was taken aback a little bit when you were like, "Oh, but they come with extra." And I'm like, "Oh, well, there you go." So even though you definitely put some wear and tear on that pen, um, I, if if I had one, I'd be like, "Okay, well, at least there's replacement little tips." You know, yeah, for because it looks like it, lo it looks like a marker that has got a lot of love to it. Right, <laughs> and yeah, here's one of those replacement tips that. So for, kind of for comparison we can see here that the one that I was using is lost some of its luster for sure it does leave the door open for the future of well what if we maybe put a little bit more pressure on it again not trying to like dig a groove into it but maybe with someone with a heavy hand an, an artist that really likes aggressive pen strokes in their work maybe they might treat it a little differently than this gentle machine that we've got here one other thing I wanted to show you was we did have different pens, pen settings on the app that we used. So we got different picture results and I can show you some of the different images that we ended up creating. This was a green marker of some kind. This was a really sparkly pen setting. So it filled the whole thing up with really bright light. This was a weird paint thing that started out blue but as it mixed with the black we did roses. I remember that one yeah that, that's I might be my favorite this one I'm pretty similar to the first one or the, the other bright pink one this was more of a highlighter oh, that, and you can see how the angle oh, that's weird. was affected as it went around yeah um I forget what the blue one was this was very thin <laughs> just a <laughs> very thin pencil line this was a watercolor, so it started out as just that kind of blue shape, and then the gray spread across. Another just kind of generic orange circle. And then that's the one that's running right now. 
We weren't just making Man. an experiment. We ended up making some art, too. We are bringing you this sort of recap summary in part because, unfortunately, we don't have the archive of the live stream on YouTube um, through some sort of glitch, no fault of our own. That archive is no longer available on YouTube, so I wish that I could send you there to let you watch all the fun that I had through those 18 hours, but them, them's the breaks, as they say. So hopefully this will give you a little taste of what we ended up doing. Well, we're looking forward to what your next experiment will be, for mm -hmm. whether you're throwing phones off, you know, buildings and whatnot, <laughs> you're always up to something. So I think I probably do it's have a drop test in my future when the iPhones come out here in a couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Bridget. Well, thanks thank for coming you, and helping uh, take a look at this. And uh, everybody that tuned in, thanks for joining me throughout the night. And the rest of you, stick around and keep an eye out for next time. Take it easy. Bye.